Happy Tip Tuesday, golfers. Kevin Haim here. We're all uh, decked out in my studio again. I've got an alignment stick through a couple of belt loops here. And I've also got this uh, line on my sweater. Now, you can't buy this sweater at KevinHaim.com. I've had people asking me about some of our teaching aids, but you can go to Ace Hardware and get a, a line of electric tape or a roll of electric tape for $1.29 and put it on your sweater to understand things a little better. And today, especially moving into the off-season, we're talking about uh, setting up over the ball right so you can move properly in your golf swing. Today we'll deal with the setup, although how you set up really has a lot to do with how you thrust and tilt and sway and rotate and coil, and we'll deal with that in other tips. Uh, let's get set up properly. So I'm going to turn and face the mirror here, and I want you to, to see what it should look like. First of all, weight 50-50. Incredibly important. I can't believe how many golfers lean more on one leg than the other. So try to get your hips underneath you and try to get your weight 50-50, super important. Now let's look at this alignment stick and you'll notice that the trailing side of that stick is a little lower than the, the front side of the stick. And that's because to stand over a golf ball properly, my trailing hand is a little lower than my lead hand. So I've got a little bit of shoulder angle here, which leads to a little bit of spine tilt, which leads to those hips maybe having that trail hip a little lower than that lead hip. So let's show you what a seven iron should look like. When I stand over a seven iron, I've got my feet at about the, the seams of my sweater here. And because that trailing arm is down a little bit, I've got about a three to four degree spine tilt there. You'll notice as well how it's a beautiful T with this alignment stick through my belt loops. So I look very balanced and centered. When I stand over a driver, the ball's a little more forward. We have a little bit wider stance for balance. Now I'm at the outside of the shoulders or maybe a slightly outside of that. And as I stand over this golf ball, now I might have five or six degrees of spine tilt there. You see that? And it looks like this hip might even be a little lower. I cannot tell you how important it is to line up your spine with your pelvic center and all your lines so that you can start turning and moving properly when you swing. Look how awkward that looks. And I think you'd understand that it's very difficult from that position to have a proper, powerful, balanced coil. So this winter, or any time really, we want you to get in front of a mirror. Let's set those hips underneath you, very centered and balanced. Let's get that little bit of spine tilt, and it looks very athletic and centered, and you can kind of tell I'm a good player just looking at the way those lines look in the mirror. You know, it's so important as a golfer to pay attention to details, and I think posture, uh, well, side posture, and also frontal posture, what you look like, where you put your weight, and how you line everything up so you can really be in balance and swing better is so important in golf. Next time you're in front of a mirror, whether it's at the office or whether it's at home in your gym or whether it's at, with a, a golf teacher, just spend a little time trying to get your hips underneath you and lining up all your lines so you really look great in front of the mirror. I'm sure it'll make you a better player.